okay, this is non-numerical uh, reduction. Uh, we're going to just go through it part by part. I like to think about where a certain ex um, angle is. And what makes general reduction easier is the reference angle. You don't have to calculate. It's just the angle they talk about. It's going to be x and x and x in there. Uh, if it says 2x, it's 2x. It's the reference angle. It's just x. If you can go to where it is, and you can think about what the sine is, you can write down the answer. So let's just try this. The sine of 180 minus x. So I did a little picture for each one. There's 180. Minus x means you bend up. You can pretend this is just an acute 45 degree angle. You'll end up where it is. Well, sine's positive there. So that's why you can rub that out, 180 minus x sine of 1, and replace it with sine x, and that's it. And the cosine of minus x, well, that's in the fourth quadrant. So you can rub it out and put cos x. The tangent of 360 minus x, well, that's in the fourth quadrant, and you know tangent's negative there. Now, the cosine of 90 minus x, that is a co-function, so it's just sine x. All right? You don't have to think about where it is. That's a co-function one. 180 minus x, that's just a co-function rule. 180 minus x, oh, that's right here. Cosine's negative there, so it's minus cos x. And 360 plus x, that's here. And tangent is positive. Add 360, you're back to where you started. Now you replace all of those things and use brackets, and that's going to be your answer. For the sine of minus 180, you have to show that you understand the sine graph. So you can sketch a little sine graph. When you go to minus 180, it gets back to zero. Excuse the interruption. Cross-country okay. runners to the Valleyland steps when the bell goes, so, please. Cross-country runners to the Valleyland steps when the bell goes, please. Thank you. So you can tell I'm at school because... And it's, you can tell that it's getting close to 2 o'clock because I've gone out to do cross-country now. I just replaced all those things with what I did, in, with brackets, so you don't get confused. and You don't think the minus is a subtraction or something. It's all multiplication. Holy cow, how many things cancel here? Two negatives make a positive. Sine over sine, cos over cos, tan. Cos over cos, tan over tan. It's, it's just got to be everything cancels. It must equal anything divided by itself. The answer is 1.